Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. His uh, Excellency David Hurley, Governor General of Australia and First Lady Linda Hurley, Their Excellencies, Special Envoys and Heads of Delegations, His Excellency Most Reverend Charles John Brown and the esteemed members of the Diplomatic Corps, Vice President Sara Duterte, President Fidel Ramos, President Joseph Ejercito Estrada, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Senate President Vicente Soto III, and the Honorable Members of the Philippine Senate, House Speaker Lord Alan J. Velasco, and the Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, Chief Justice Alexander Gesmundo and the Honorable Justices of the Supreme Court. Of course, First Lady Lisa Araneta. And my children, Alexander, Sandro, Simon, and Vincent. I cannot proceed without a special greeting, of course, to the former First Lady Imelda Gonzalez Marcos. Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, ang aking minamahal na mga kababayan, magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. This is a historic moment for us all. I feel it deep within me. You, the people, have spoken, and it is resounding. When my call for unity started to resonate with you, it did so because it echoed your yearnings, mirrored your sentiments, 
and express your hopes for family, for country, and for a better future. That is why it reverberated and amplified as it did to deliver the biggest electoral mandate in the history of Philippine democracy. By your vote, you rejected the politics of division. I offended none of my rivals in this campaign. I listened instead to what they were saying. And I saw little incompatibility with my own ideas about jobs, fair wages, personal safety, and national strength, and ending want in a land of plenty. I believe that if we but focus on the work at hand and the work that will come to hand, we will go very far under my watch. You believe that too. At pinakinggan ko ang tinig ninyo na ang sinisigaw ay pagkakaisa, pagkakaisa, pagkakaisa. We will go farther together than against each other. Pushing forward not pulling each other back out of fear, out of a misplaced sense of weakness. But we are the furthest from weak. The Filipino diaspora flourishes even in the most inhospitable climes where they are valued for their quality. The changes we seek will benefit all and will shortchange no one. I was not the instrument of change. You were that. You made it happen. I am now. You picked me to be your servant, to enable changes to benefit all. I fully understand the gravity of the responsibility that you've put on my shoulders. I do not take it lightly, but I am ready for the task. I will need your help. I want to rely on it. But rest assured, I do not predicate success on the wide cooperation that's needed. I will get it done. I once knew a man who saw what little had been achieved since independence in a land of people with the greatest potential for achievement. And yet, they were poor. But he got it done. Sometimes with the needed support, sometimes without so will it be with his son. You will get no excuses from me. I am here not to talk about the past. I am here to tell you about our future. A future of sufficiency, even plenty of readily available ways and means to get done what needs doing by you, by me. We do not look back, but ahead. Up the road that we must take to a place better than the one we lost in the pandemic. Gains made and lost, opportunities missed, well-laid plans superseded by the pandemic. Indeed, Ours was the fastest growing economy in ASEAN by ways now outdated. We shall, begin, we shall be again by a radical change in the way the world must now work to recover what we have lost in that fire and move on from there. We, we face prospects of the spread of the war abroad of which we are totally blameless. We seek friendship with all. But our countries like ours will bear the brunt of it. And if the great powers draw the wrong lessons from the ongoing tragedy in Ukraine, the same dark prospect of conflict will spread to our part of the world. Yet, there is more out there. Like going forward by new ways of doing the, that the pandemic forces to adopt a stronger resilience, Quicker adaptability, they are our best prevention, they are our best protection. Quiet reflection in a rough and tumble campaign of a bread.